Hello, and welcome back to my journey from normal to Norway. Um, so it's Sunday night again, time to check in. <laughs> um, and I don't think this is going to be a long one. I'm still feeling a little tired after last week, um, but really looking forward to the time off over the holidays. Um, and I think I'm going to talk about just the most recent thing that happened, um, which is that I just watched Dumplin' on Netflix, just finished that a few minutes ago, um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I'd heard good things about it, so I wasn't necessarily surprised, but um, I think I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected. I cried more than once. That was unexpected. Um, it was really moving to me in many ways, um, and I think there was a lot in there that was relatable, that felt relevant to me, um, that kind of felt like my own life um, in some ways. Um, so I recommend it. <laughs> um, I enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, something that stood out to me as one of those super relatable things was um, the Bo character and um, his thoughts and feelings about Willow Dean. Um, which, of course, I loved, being the hopeful romantic that I am. Um, but I completely understood Willow Dean's response as sad as it was and as much as it hurt, I got it. Um, because there's such a huge part of me that really wants my beau <laughs> that has been just hoping and dreaming and just waiting for my beau and and really really wanting him wanting that guy to feel that way about me and say those things to me but there's this other part of me that <sighs> believes that is afraid that I will have a response similar to hers this idea of why this disbelief that someone like him would be interested in someone like me. And that is yucky to feel that way. That sucks. <laughs> um, one of those things I say here that sucks to say out loud, but I think it's important that I share it because I believe I'm not the only one out there who feels this way. And so if you relate, um, I get it. And I just want to kind of share that and admit that. Um, and um, I'd like to think that that will change, that by the time my beau comes into my life and says those things, um, that I will have a different response, um, a much more positive response, um, that I will be in a place by that time of believing that... Um, that he would be interested in me, that, um, that he would be as interested in me as I am in him, that there's nothing weird or wrong about him being interested in me. Um, so that's my hope. And that's probably why I don't have him yet, because I'm not ready. Um, as much as I feel like I am and want to believe that I am, it's times like this when I have these thoughts about myself that make me think, hmm, not ready yet. So yeah, I got, I got some work to do. I got some improving to do, some growing to do. Ugh. As much as it hurts to grow. Um, it's, it's more comfortable to stick in the unknown as, I mean, stick in the known as yucky as the known is. Um, it's scarier. To venture out of that into the unknown to grow and to alter and to change and to improve and all of that so but i need to do it if i do ever want to get to the point of having my bow of being ready for him when he comes into my life i gotta do it so that's that just wanted to share that i don't know if that's gonna be helpful or encouraging to any of you i hope that some of you are inspired by willow dean and dumplin as i have been inspired um and yeah, I guess also I want to say if you're out there watching this and you're my beau, don't give up on me. <laughs> um, I will get there. 
I will be ready eventually, I promise. Um, and I trust that it'll be at the right time when we will be ready for each other. So maybe, maybe he's out there growing too, just like I'm growing and we'll be ready for each other at the same time. That might be a super like cheesy, romantic, you know, um, unrealistic thing to say, but I like it. I like that thought. So I'm going to stick to that. We're both growing still and we'll be ready for each other at the same time. Sounds good. Um, I guess that's kind of all <laughs> that I'm really going to share tonight. Um, we've got the Christmas holidays coming up here the next couple of days um, in the U.S. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. Um, and I'm going to kind of chill. I'm, you know, sticking around here. Don't really have plans tomorrow. Then I'm going to hang out with some friends on Christmas Day. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think it's going to be a good chill, a mix of like alone time, which is needed for me, and fun people time. Um, and so I'm looking forward to these couple of days. I hope that you have a wonderful couple of days. If, if you celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you. Um, or Guyul, <laughs> like they say in Norway. It's probably a terrible accent. I hope it isn't the worst. Ugh. Um, but I'm trying. Um, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you just have a great couple of days off um, from school or work or whatever it is. And if you're somewhere where this is not a holiday that happens, I don't know. I don't know. I should be more knowledgeable about the world. Whatever. I just hope you have a great couple of days. Um, and again, I'll be back to talk with you on Thursday as we kind of wind down, wind down, I was about to say wound down, wind down. We're going to wind down 2018 and head into 2019. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll kind of got a few days left, um, to, you know, think about what we want the next year to look like. I go, I want to spend some time doing that. Um, and yeah, I've now rambled on at the end here much longer than I needed to. I'm sorry about that. If you're still watching, thank you. Um, hope you have an excellent next few days. I will be back with you soon. And as always, until next time, hada.